As Russia's leading opposition figure, Alexei Navalny piled pressure on the Kremlin and put a target on his back. Born in 1976 in what was then the Soviet Union, Navalny trained as a lawyer and rose to prominence as a political blogger. In 2011, he started the Anti-Corruption Foundation, which exposed the extravagant wealth of Russian officials, including President Vladimir Putin. The, the biggest thing that Putin is afraid of is, is uh, public discontent in Russia, and that is why it's so afraid of opposition leaders. Navalny's and Putin's stars were intertwined. As Putin tightened his grip on power, Navalny became a leading figure at anti-government protests. We will force them to live by the law because we hold the power here, he shouted. He was arrested countless times and turned attacks to his advantage. In 2017, after announcing his intentions to run for president, Navalny was attacked with green dye twice. Maybe the Kremlin thinks that I will not record videos with a green face, he said, but now even more people will watch. In 2019, as Navalny's anti-corruption foundation gained support nationally, police raided their offices and arrested several activists, including, of course, Navalny. But in 2020, his life was threatened like never before. On a plane traveling from Siberia to Moscow, Navalny became deathly ill. He fell into a coma and was put on a ventilator. While recovering in a German hospital, investigators revealed he had been poisoned with Novichok, a Soviet-era neurotoxin. Navalny blamed Putin for the attack, a claim the Kremlin denies. Miraculously, Navalny recovered and participated in the investigation into his own poisoning, documenting the whole thing on social media. Despite the threats against his life, in January 2021, Navalny and his wife Yulia voluntarily returned to Moscow, where he was immediately arrested, ostensibly for violating the terms of a 2014 embezzlement case. Once in jail, he was tried and sentenced to more than nine years in a maximum security prison. Navalny said the charges were politically motivated. But even behind bars, he found ways to make his voice heard, using social media to protest the Ukraine war and needle those in power. His legacy is one of defiance, a constant thorn in the side of the Kremlin. Richard Engel, NBC News.